Hi, James with the onehoursmarthome.com. And today we're gonna show you the wiring diagram for a boiler, how you can wire a Nest thermostat to a boiler. This will work for both the Nest E and the standard Nest thermostat, which is also known as the Nest thermostat generation three. We're doing this video because we got a lot of positive feedback on how to wire a system for a heat pump, a standard wiring system for the Nest uh, thermostat. So we're just gonna explain how to wire up a uh, Nest with a boiler. And a lot of people wonder, can you wire a Nest to the boiler? And in my experience, it's probably at least 90% of boiler systems will work with the Nest system or the Nest thermostat. What it really comes down to is if your boiler is a low voltage system and has somewhere between like 20 and 28 volts, really you want it to have 24 volts, but I've seen it work anywhere in between that range of 20 and 28 volts. So uh, we'll get to how you can measure that voltage later, but I'll explain what these terminals are and uh, how the wiring diagram works. So what we've got over here is a boiler. I just drew my representation of it. And then on the side, I've got W and R, and these are the terminals on the boiler. Over here, we have the nest. So this is a representation of the nest thermostat. And if you were to open up a nest thermostat on the inside, what you have are these wiring terminals. You take off the front and on the back plate, this is what you have. And each one of these letters represents something on the nest thermostat. So uh, I'll just go around the circle and then tell you why it's relevant to what we're gonna do with this boiler. So Y1, that is for cooling. Y2, that is if you have two stage cooling, which would be your air conditioner, it would put it up in second gear so that it's cooling faster. So Y1 is low gear cooling and Y2 is high gear cooling. G is your fan wire, which if you had a furnace, it would blow air through there and it wouldn't provide any heating or cooling, it would just blow air. When you have that G wire, it just blows air through the furnace more as an air handler is what they would call it. So you can use that just to circulate air within your home, hot or cold, just to move it around in your house. OB is what they call a reversing valve, and that is only used for heat pumps. So we don't need to worry about it here. RC is power. So on the Nest, you have two terminals that will let you provide power to them, RC or RH. If you have a dual fuel system, the intent is that you would use RC for cooling power and RH for heating power. So that's what the designation is, RC and RH. In reality, with the Nest system, it doesn't matter if you have only one source of fuel or only one source of heating uh, or cooling for that matter, you could put the power wire in RH or RC. In our case, what we're gonna show you right here is a boiler, which is a single fuel system. So if you don't have an air conditioner connected with your boiler, this will work no problem. You can also have a separate boiler and a separate air conditioner system, and then you would have what is called a dual fuel system where you could use this RC to connect your air conditioner separate of your boiler system. So we'll get into that kind of at the very end here, but uh, we'll continue on because a lot of you are just gonna have just a boiler system. Maybe you live in a Northern climate where it doesn't get too hot and you don't need an air conditioner. So there's no reason to have an air conditioner. You just have a boiler, which is a really efficient way to heat and cool your home. So RH, that is the power wire. So I'm just gonna make a mark here. I hope my, there we go. I'm gonna make a mark right here, uh, my, just to indicate that we are gonna use this one and I'll get, get to why this one's important. The star terminal, that is for accessories. That's for things like if you have a humidifier, you would use that, R ter that star terminal and you can connect humidifier devices in that star terminal. The C wire is a common wire. And that common wire is used to power a HVAC system. So there are some thermostats or some HVAC systems that don't put out enough power on their own to power the nest. The nest, like I said, needs that 24 volts or right around there in order to stay powered up and connected to Wi-Fi. And most systems will put out enough power for it, but not all systems will put out enough power. 
And that's where the C wire comes in. Basically it is used as a neutral wire so that your Nest thermostat can always be charging. Most of you won't need it, but we do have another video on how to add a common wire. I'll put that in the uh, links below. And you could add a common wire to a boiler in some circumstances, but once again, we'll get to that and how you would do that in the uh, other video there. W2 is for two-stage heating and cooling. So this is typically only for when you've got a HVAC system that blows air. What it does is it turns the boiler or the burner into higher gear and it's blowing air, hot air, faster through your system. W1 is heating and that can be used for a dual, dual stage heating and cooling system or just single stage heat and single stage boiler heat, which is what we have here. So on the boiler, you're most likely gonna find just two terminals. Sometimes you're gonna have a third terminal. It's a C terminal. You don't really need to worry about that C terminal most of the time, but the R is power. So you would connect the boiler wire, the R wire from R to RH right here, just like that, okay? And then the only other connection that you're gonna to have to make for the nest is you're gonna take the W wire and you're gonna take that and you're gonna wire that to your W1 terminal on the Nest thermostat. And for a boiler, a standard boiler where all you're doing is providing heat, that is all you need to do and you are good to go. Now, let's say you have the Nest installed and you're getting a low power error or it is not charging. That may indicate that you need a C wire. And some of you will find that on your boiler, you have a third terminal, this C terminal. Okay, all you would have to do then, in this case, if you are having a low power issue, is connect the C terminal with a wire on your boiler to the C terminal on the nest, like so, and you would be good to go. So, that is how you would wire a boiler. Most of the time, you don't need this C wire, so it's not a big deal. But if you needed it, uh, that is how you would make the connection. So if you've already got the wires there, a lot of times when people run boiler wiring, they still run it with the four wire system, just because that's the most common wire out there for thermostat wire. So a lot of times you'll have extra wires that go from your boiler to your thermostat. So you could potentially just use one of those extra wires and connect it C to C. But that's an unlikely case. Now, let's say you had an air conditioning system, separate from the boiler. They're not connected at all. You have a air conditioning system that is ducted, and I'm just gonna draw it in here small like an AC, and you needed to have your boiler and your air conditioner connected. Your air conditioner is most likely gonna have a whole bunch of terminals on it because they are typically like uh, my whiteboard markers being very particular here. So. It's not gonna be the best uh, drawing, but I'll make do, I guess. Um, so air conditioners typically have a whole bunch of terminals, and I'm just gonna draw this a little bit better so that we don't mess people up here. Uh, they have a whole bunch of terminals. You'll typically see on your air conditioner a G. You'll see a Y1, maybe a Y2 maybe a C terminal. So for the air conditioner, the only two things that you need for it are power, and you're gonna have an R, R terminal. So for an air conditioner, the only things that you need for the air conditioner to operate separately the boiler truly are Y1, which is the call for cooling, and the R, which is power. So just the R on either of these, the boiler or the AC, is gonna put out 24 volts of power. That's just how it works. And what happens is your boiler or your air conditioner puts out 24 volts of power, it goes to the thermostat, and when the thermostat turns to heating or cooling, what it does is it completes the circuit, and then that power goes back through, in the case of the Nest, through the W wire, and it would turn on the boiler. Or in the case of the air conditioner, what you would have 
is your R terminal on the air conditioner would be wired to the RC terminal on the Nest, the cooling, the power for cooling. And then you would have your Y1 terminal wired to the Y1 terminal on the Nest. So if you wanted to have air conditioning separate from your boiler, you have these two separate systems, what would happen is when there is a call for cooling, when you've got the Nest set to cooling, what's gonna happen is power is gonna go from the R terminal into the RC terminal. The Nest is going to connect it when you have a call for cooling or when you've got it set to cooling. And that power is gonna go back down the Y1 terminal. It's gonna to go to the Y1 terminal on the AC and it will activate it. So that is how the air conditioner works. And the same is true for the boiler where you've got power from R, goes to the RH, and then it goes back down the W1 and to W and it would activate the boiler and give you heat. So this is how you wire a boiler with Nest. If you've got any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. I try and answer as many as I can, but we get all kinds of questions on all these different videos. So if you've got something similar to someone's, try and look at the other comments and answers as well first. But we hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, if it was helpful, or you have questions, please put them in the comments below. But if you wanna support us, you can give us a like as well as subscribe to the channel, that's always helpful, or click on any links below. Those do help support us and this channel. So thank you very much for watching. Visit us at onehoursmarthome.com. Thank you.